Hummingbird family. So the cards flew out, the candle was blowing off. <laughs> there was all kinds of noise. And so I had to restart the video. So my intention is that you guys follow your intuition and that this video finds whoever it was meant to find. And so if you're having a bit of a chaotic time or you're not sure what's happening or why things are happening, this probably a confirmation that this reading is for you, okay? So we have the Queen of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Fool, okay. I feel like I'm speaking to someone who took a risk and you're kind of, you definitely have leveled up. You took a risk, you did something different in the emotional department, in the love department. You did something different. You really elevated yourself into the queen of cups the queen of cups is a an energy of someone who is wise with their emotions okay this is someone who um knows when to pause they know when to respond they're very regulated you know, we're always going to, each one of us is always going to have something that they're working on, but this is the type of person that knows what they're working on and they kind of keep it in check. So great job with that. I, I do feel that very strongly. You had to, it's almost like you had to navigate very different worlds okay you had it's almost like we have a she's underwater she almost had to morph into this octopus here it's like you had to navigate like the seahorse um your emotions uh, you learn to to really read yourself and know, understand what people are, were mirroring back to you. I mean, I'm getting very strong energy here. I, I had to share all of that, even if this is a longer video. So you took, you took some risk. You did a lot of work. And now you are in the three of, of wands, almost, you know, you've elevated. And you're just waiting for the next stage of your life. You're wondering what that is. For some of you, you've been asking for something. You've been expecting something, but you're not, you're not seeing it is what I'm getting. But if you notice in this card, we have this whole city. She's looking out into the sea. It looks like just water, water, emotions. She's worked, she's elevated. We have all these birds, but she can't really see what's behind her. And I am feeling like in due time, you're gonna begin to receive um, a lot of things that you were asking for, and they're gonna come way better than you expect this. I mean, this is going to be, it, I almost feel like it's hidden from you right now for a reason, but this is going to be something completely unexpected. Um, let's see if we, let's see what this is about for some of you. Let's ask, what is this about? Okay. Three of Cups. For some of you, this is about joy. This is about a new relationships, about celebration. Um, it's almost like for some of you, you will find your tribe or what unites you to others. 
Um, we do have very lonely figures here. And then we break away because we have it on the um, reverse. The seven of wands. The seven of wands. So, yeah, you're going to break away. For some of you in love, the old patterns that kept you kind of imprisoned or this mentality that <clears throat> maybe you were with somebody very controlling or who, who where you couldn't be yourself. I'm getting like you couldn't express yourself. Even here, we see some sort of abuse. For some of you, it would have been a very toxic, uh, emotionally abusive relationship as well. Um, but, you know, this is a collective reading, so place that where you are. But you left that behind, and there's a lot of joy coming in. Very like-minded people. I see a sense of community. I see a whole city here that it's almost like you're used to water, water. This is going to be like a completely different environment that you're used to, but you're going to really enjoy this. I am getting a lot of joy, celebration, like-minded people. So congratulations, and I hope this reading was helpful to you, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.